हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द एडवांस मोबाइल प्रोग्रामिंग प्रैक्टिकल सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन एंड द यूज ऑफ द इंटेंट क्लास इन द एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी ऑल रिमेंबर दैट इंटेंट इज अ क्लास available in the android studio and this class is used to connect two or more activities in the android application and android intent is the message that is passed between the components such as activities content providers broadcast receivers and services it is usually use with the start activity method to invoke the activity broadcast receiver and so on start activity is a method which is used to invoke or start the another activity that we wants to execute the syntax to create an intent class is intent the name of the intent object equals to new new is used to allocate the memory for the intent object intent within bracket we have a two parameters first we get the application context the basic information the basic in details of the current application comma and the name of the second activity dot class this is the name that we wants to start the activity then we call a method start activity and we pass the intent object as an parameter in this object we already specify the name of the second activity this is the syntax to create a intent object now let us understand the use of the intent class in android studio just open android studio in this i am first creating an separate application go to the file new new project in this we select an empty activity next give the name to the activity now i am giving a name as soft core application this is my name of the application then package name then is the path we can browse it if you want to change the location you can change with a, with the help of this button then select the language as java and finish it it will load the gradle first and the other components that are required for the execution just wait for some time as we can see here the gradle is loaded now just show system ui it will display the header and the footer part of your application that is my soft core application and these are the buttons by default it display a hello world in the text view see now to understand the intent class first we design our application just minimize it increase the size of this and delete this delete the text view now start with the palette text take a text view now this is my text view the default layout of your android application as we can see here is your constraint layout constraint layout is a layout which has a four constraint associated with each constraints are nothing but the conditions so now we also add this four constraints so that we can properly align this text view on the specified space for that we have to just select this uh, bubble and drag it to top now i attach the top constraint therefore it is moving 
towards up now i this now i am i am attaching and i and i am applying the bottom constraint just see drag see now i can move this text view top and up and down up and down we can why because both both the side we have a equal constraint or equal force now do the same thing for the right and left side just drag and then now for the left side just drag and drop here now we can move the text view in any direction right see why because all four constraints are applied on this text view we can see here the bottom the top the left and the right i am i am placing this text view at here now we change the some attributes of this text view first the id one text view one then refactor enter the name then there are other properties also font 16 then bold bold it and we can also give a text color we can give any color like this Now, these are the some properties enter the name this is a text view now to allow the user to enter the name we use plain text then drag and drop the plain text here this is my plain text again it has a four band i want this plain text or edit text to be aligned on the line of the text view then we drag this up band to the up band of this view that means both are aligned in a proper way in the same way for down do the same thing you can see here now when i move this text view automatically edit text will move why because i attach the up and down up and bottom constraint to this text view therefore when you move this text view automatically the plain text gets moved so, this is an advantage of constraint layout now you can also drag and drop the right and the left band just see as you can see here it properly aligns the text view now take a button again for constraint layout apply the constraint you can put the button here the maximum now the down and the left and the right now you can place the button anywhere now we change the some properties of the plain text first the id first one is the id edit text et1 now the text is entered by the user therefore we empty the text and then we can enter the hint name now button btn1 then text send data to other activity so i am giving a send data as an text now we done with the design part of the application now we write a code and we call the second activity on this on the clicking of this button for that we have to generate the event to generate the event 
we write a code in main activity dot java here we first define the object of edit text that is your txt and the button btn now we initialize this is the declaration now we initialize the edit text find view by id r dot id dot now write uh, the id of the edit text that is your et1 for button equals to find view by id r dot id dot and btn1 now we generate the event on the button that is your set on click listener new and select the first option it will automatically write the entire event handling code you can see here now in this first we get the text entered by the user in str get this one txt dot get text dot to string now we create a intent object intent the object name intent small i equals to new intent then get application context and the name of the second activity now the that the, the activity that we will create a uh, later on we write here the second activity name that is my second you can give any name activity dot class right now it gives an error why because the second activity is not exist in the application we create a second activity after that the error is is removed now we add in the, the information name in the intent the, the, the method is your put extra in this we have a two parameters first we will give the name you can give any name i am giving as n and the value the value is your str then adding adding uh, adding the parameters into the intent now we start with the start activity method and we pass this intent as a parameter so now the, this is the code on the first activity right? now we create a second activity just create a second activity in res layout in res right click on res new activity gallery and then select empty activity the name of this activity is same as the second activity always remember students second activity now here we write the name as second activity and the layout file name is activity underscore second the language is java and then finish it will create a second activity for us you can see here this is my second activity after creation of second activity the error is automatically gets over see there is a no error in the this file now in second activity we first take a basic text view so that we can display the information of the first activity this is my text view again just drag up down sorry down and the left and the right again change some attributes of this this text view the text is your here we will display the output now we also change the size of this text view 24 and the bold and we gave some colors to this text view you can see here 
this is my text view also so increase the size to 48 see here the output of this uh, first activity that is the name we display on this second activity now go to the uh, second activity dot java file in this we first initialize the object of text view text view tv then it declare tv equals to find view by id r dot id dot text view this is the id after initialization of text view create the object of the intent class again but this time intent intent class uh, intent object is created for getting the intent information therefore i am calling get intent so in the first activity that is your main activity dot java we set the information in the intent and we transfer the uh, control from the main activity to the second activity in the second activity we first get the instance of the intent class now we get the information that is my name which is your intent dot get string extra and we type the name here which is same as the name that we given at the time of adding the information in the intent class that is your n you can see here now Now we will display this name on the uh, text view that is your tv dot set text. Now we write a text as your name is plus name. So now this is the code on the second activity. We done with the coding part of the both the activity. Now we execute this. Now we execute the application as you can see here we have a selected device that is your pixel to api 28 now just click on play button it will start the execution of our application now we can see here the emulator gets start gradle will running it will start the gradle it will start the emulator and display your activity output just wait for this some time now we can see here the emulator gets executed and it display the first activity as a default activity that is your soft core application now here we write a name i am typing my name as professor shahid on the clicking of the send data it will launch a second activity that is your second activity dot java and it will display the output as your name as your name is professor shahid as, as we can see here this is my second activity in this we just printed a name entered by the user in the first activity so this is the basic use of the intent class right we can connect the two activities and we pass the messages between the two activities using a intent class i hope you understood this session 